Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We are the mother-daughter partners of Godiva Secret Wigs. In this video, we are showing you Sydney wig and all the colors she comes in. You're going to love this wig. It's so easy and not full. Right. So I'm wearing Silverstone, which I absolutely love. Doesn't it look good? I love this color on you. And so we're gonna show you a few features of Sydney, and then we're gonna show you all the colors, including three gray colors. Rochelle's wearing one, but there's actually two more that you're gonna get to see. Love so it. like Rochelle said, Sid Sydney is a very flat wig. It doesn't really have that machine teasing, um, and it is actually called a partial mono. So you'll see here, this little square right here, <laughs> that is a monofilament square right in the middle. So what that means is when you're parting the wig in the middle here, it'll have, it'll look like what looks like scalp. I don't know if you can see that. And that is also what helps it to lay very flat on your head. So even though she's considered machine teased, because that little bit of partial mono, she gets to lay light, nice and flat, which I love because I like flat wigs. Right, <laughs> and that also makes it, so it will come to you more center parted, mm -hmm. but if you don't want the center part, you can manipulate the fiber just by doing a little teasing, a little back combing, right. and tease it to part the way you want it to part. And that's the same way with any of the monofilament wigs, and even the machine teased wigs. Can you do that again, just in case? Sure, so let's take it back. When it come, it'll come to you pretty much like this. For me, I like a little more height, maybe some of you do too. So if you want more, just part it where you want it. And if you find this hair is coming over your eyes, just start to tease it into the side hair that you want. Wow. And just keep And then I look down, see? Yeah, and, and it gives it a little bit more fullness on the top if you want that little bit. Right. Yeah. And a little spritz right at the root to have it sit up. Huh? And uh, that looks great. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. You know I'm going to show a little ear. So I love it. So Sydney, if, if you are someone who likes very full hair, Sydney is probably not the wig for you. No. But if you like a flatter, a flatter overall style, even with a little lift up here, Sydney is great. She also has these nice pre-cut bangs. So they're a little bit long, but like Rochelle's able to wear them without trimming. But if you want to wear them down, you might do a little bit of a trim. Right. The and same with so many of our wigs, excuse yeah, me honey, yeah. the bangs come long. Right. So if I'm ever working with a model and you're watching a video or you receive one of our wigs and the bangs are long, it's that way so that a majority of our clients with different size foreheads can just trim, simply trim the bangs to be where you want to customize the wig for you. Right. But look how cute, honey. Look. Yeah, no, it's really cute. Look at that with the clip. Easy. And Sydney is, so these are all the highest quality of synthetic hair, meaning that when you wash them and condition them, you actually let it drip dry and it comes right back into the same style. And then Sydney is an average cap size wig. So about 95% right. of women are an average size. And then they're adjustable in the back. So this one has Velcro. So you actually move the Velcro in to make it a little tighter or out to make it looser so that if your head's a little bigger, a little smaller, it'll still fit you. But it is an average mm -hmm. cap size. Right, a very, very light wig very. for long hair. And some of you do ask, you know, how can I wear a wig every day? It's going to hurt my own hair. No, it's not, mm -hmm. especially with our wigs because they're all open wefts. And that means that your scalp can breathe through the wefts. Right. We don't suggest sleeping in the wigs. But during the day, wear it all day, take it off at night. Yes. So that is who Sydney is. Now we're going to show you her colors. So um, we're going to put on each color. We'll do a little turn so you can see the whole color. Make sure you take notes on the colors you like because these same colors are available in our other wig styles as well. Mm, love it. So I am wearing the darkest color, that'll be next, yeah. I'm, gonna I'm wearing the darkest color that Sydney comes in, which is Coffee Latte R. So R meaning it's just a little bit deeper here at the roots, which you'll see better in some of the lighter colors. Um, so you'll notice there's two Sydney products. There's mm. a Sydney and a Sydney with roots. 
So if you don't see the exact color you want in Sydney, be sure you check the Sydney with roots. They're that, the same style, different yes, colors. That's the same with many of our wigs oh, that come much, rooted yeah. and non-rooted. Right. They'll be shown on two different photographs. Look at this. I know. So realistic. So Rochelle mm. is wearing the Sydney in marble brown. Look at this color. Which is just such a gorgeous, realistic kind of a medium brown underneath with a lighter brown highlighted kind of all throughout it. Yes, a little warmth yes. to this. And ladies, you know, a lot of people ask about warm colors, cool colors. To me, I want to wear the colors that I'm attracted to. All I have to do or all you have to do is just adjust your color with a little makeup. If you're right. more red toned, you want to wear a cooler wig, just put some foundation on your skin to lighten up that red tone. So there are many ways you can change the color of your foundation and then be more free to experience with other colors. Yes. So we're going to do a little turn so you can see this color. So Coffee Latte R I'm wearing and Marble Brown Rochelle's wearing. And you can see the backs. Check out the movements. <laughs> yeah. It's a party. <laughs> It feels so good. It's really lightweight. Honestly, I mean, you feel this tiny bit, but you really don't feel like any of the hair at all. It is so lightweight. I feel like Cleopatra. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling her right now. Okay. So I'm going to put on the Mocha Chino R color. So this is another root. It's a Sydney with roots color. So this would be the next deeper. Right. Uh, yeah. We're after starting with the dark deeper. colors. Yeah, we're going lightest. Okay. Lighter. So after marble. Mm -hmm. And while Danielle's putting this on, I want to just talk about marble brown. If you're a woman that says, I'm medium brown, please do yourself a favor and try marble brown. Mm -hmm. It has subtle highlights that are so complementary to our skin tone, especially add a little blush. I didn't go too far on my makeup, but I feel like it really pulls my yeah, colors. So marble sure. brown, try it. So here I am in the Sydney and Mochaccino R. Mm. So you'll see, see how it's a little bit darker right here at the root? Yes. When we say R, we're saying a rooted, it means that deeper at the root looks like regrowth. It gives it a lot of depth. And especially for a woman with darker eyebrows, the rooted colors in the lighter colors make sense. Because for me, my dark eyebrows can at least make sense with the darker roots. Love it. And this is a little more, a little cooler color, because I'm cool, you know? It's a, a cooler kind of darker blonde. Yes. The colors are so subtle and rich. We don't do stripey kind of colors. It's just not our thing. Yeah. Not judging it, but it's, it's not our thing. Right. So just subtle, beautiful mm -hmm. blends. I yes. wish you were all this close. <laughs> so, we yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, I am up and I am wearing one of my favorites, Nutmeg F. I know many of you love her and own her. So she is kind of a strawberry blonde color with a little lighter blonde highlight, especially around the front. Up to the hairline on any wig. Yes. And then find those little tabs and move the wig until the tabs are even. Exactly even, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm right there with you. And some of you, if you have a widow's peak, if you have a low forehead, a high forehead, just play with the hair, with the bangs. You can secure the wigs many different ways. So you could wear it up further back, but if you have a widow's peak, like I hear many of you do, a subtle little bang like this is just going to camouflage that. Yeah. So it makes it very easy. Totally. So I love mm -hmm. Nutmeg F. Sydney's great in every color. Yes, she is. I'm turning without you. Oh, you're turning. Okay. <laughs> so next, I am going to put on Creamy Toffee R, another very popular blonde color. She has a beautiful, you'll see, golden blonde. That's pretty much the color I have my hair dyed <laughs> to and every piece I own. 
<clears throat> is in creamy toffee are beautiful color and so, really yeah. easy to take your piece or wig to your hairdresser right. if you fall in love with any of these colors and say please make me this color please so one thing so this is the creamy toffee are one thing i like about having rooted colors for myself is that if a little of my like side show or anything it it blends it makes sense because of that darker roots where if not you would just see like dark black hair through the blonde mm -hmm. so i love this creamy toffee r <clears throat> so it's like i said this golden blonde with some lighter blonde all throughout it mm -hmm. and i'd like to give one more quick tip yeah. when you have a wig that has bangs and then long hair well, you put the wig on and you're going to find there's a lot of long hairs coming in front. That doesn't mean clip it, ladies. Just find where the long hairs are and take them away from the bangs. That is a great tip. Before you style it. Yeah. And then you can even afterwards then give it a side part. But always take a moment and move them away because now they're all out of my yeah, eyes. Yeah, that's smart. Because, yeah, when you're sitting there, we're grabbing each one and it's, it's a bang. Okay, good. Let's go. I don't know if you've ever shared that tip before. Oh, I've got so many stored away. <laughs> Still pulling out new ones after 25 years. Very impressed. So now we are moving into the grays. Yes. So Rochelle's going to put on Sandy Silver, which is the darkest gray that this style comes in. And I'm going to put on Beloved Frosted Taupe. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Do you think she likes it? Yummier than a root beer float, okay? I love the color, the depth, and the difference. Ooh! <laughs> so this is Frosted Taupe. Love it. So the Sandy Silver is gonna be like more medium brown, kind of like a light to medium brown with the light gray, where Frosted Taupe is a very light brown with the grays. So this is almost considered, almost could be considered kind of towards the blondes or towards the light browns. It's a very good transition, like when you're trying to transition into gray. Yes. Frosted taupe is great. So is sandy silver, actually. Yes. And if you've got, you haven't gone totally gray yet, and every day you're making yourself stressed out and crazy, ladies, just purchase one of our gray wigs and then let your hair, let your roots grow out for a few months. Yeah. It's really healthy on your hair to wear our light wigs. Even wearing them every day. Stop blow drying your hair and stop putting a lot of chemicals on it and let it go natural. You'll already have some beautiful wigs of ours in gray. Agreed. All right. And now Rochelle's going to put on the lightest gray, the one she started in, which is Silverstone. So Silverstone is a gray. It definitely is a blend of a little deeper grays, but mainly medium and light grays. Oh, with that lighter gray in the front, which is so, like, just brightens oh. your face. We do grays that are glamorous. I made a video, Glamorous Grays, mm. but none of those wigs were long. Right. And so these are so fun to wear. Yes. So check that video out. Yes. Shall we? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I do see a little blonde in there, I have to say. Yeah. Yes. Okay. She's a lot of colors. She like Many. we said, great transitional color. Yes. So this is Sydney. This is uh, all the colors she comes in, and I know you're going to love her. So we want to thank you for watching our video. And many of you, many subscribe to our channel, so thank you. And we love your comments. We do. You know we read every one. And if you know anyone who may want a <coughs> wig or who is not happy with their hair or experiencing hair loss, please be sure and forward our videos to them or tell them about us. We want to help them too. Yes, and even if they just need a lift, right? a lot of us, we want to help each other. Let's spread the love. So yes. just send them a surprise video of us and let them have a little brighter morning. How yeah. about that? Sounds good. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Try Sydney. Bye. Bye.